What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our legendary Brazilian training guides and complete breakdown where we talk about the free players that you're going to be getting, right? So we've already covered pretty much everyone at this stage apart from Rivaldo Cafu and Ronaldinho. We are going to be looking at the Nielsen now. So depending on what order I update these in, hopefully your favorite player is covered or the player that you actually got. Now, the Nielsen on paper is kind of like Elbear and Bebeto. They're kind of disappointing. They're not going to make a massive difference to your squad, in my opinion. Obviously, some players can train them up and they'll be good. The thing with the Nielsen that's a bit different for him is he's got a lot of trainers, uh, training levels to go up, right? So he's got 84 ball control and 88 dribbling straight off the rip with 84 acceleration. So that's really decent because we don't need to train him too much. Um, when we are actually going to be training him up, he's got double touch, he's got chop turn, he's got flip flap, three really good key dribbling stats for out wide. He can only play left wing or left mid, so that's a bit of an issue. He can't play right wing, um, so it kind of limits him if you're going to be having him on the bench. But other than that, he does have a nice card. He has standard form, which is a pity. All of these cards, I think, should have had a wavering form um, because they used to be always, you know, beasting um, in the World Cups and stuff for their national team, Brazil. And this guy, I think, is from 1998. So he probably should have had unwavering form. Um, it is the carryover pack, right? So straight away, my eyes are kind of drawn to his acceleration. And we know what kind of winger that we want the Nielsen to be, which is going to be just outright speed. So when we're training him up, we have 30 progression points to go. We're just, we're just going to kind of, you know, enhance what he already has going for him, lads, right? So we're going to put four and four into that just to kick things off. We're also going to bring up his stamina a little bit because of the way we're going to be playing him. We'll put six into that. Passing isn't going to be a massive concern for us because his passing, no matter what we do, even if we put eight into passing, it's still not going to be enough. And shooting is going to be the same. So we're going to completely ignore that. Now, the big problem with the Nielsen is his play style. So we're going to have to waste, and I mean waste, four on out wide that's what we're going to have to do at least two on out wide but i would say maybe three on out wide we still have 11 progression points to go obviously the more um team play style progress progr uh, progression points you want to spend on team play style is going to impact what you can spin on or spend on his card here but once we get that we're going to go six on that six on that and then we're going to have six 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 on that with our team play style up into the 90. We're going to have 90 ball control, 94 dribbling, 90 acceleration, 85 balance, 84 speed. And we're just going to round this off to bring his offensive awareness up to 75 and leave his acceleration and balance at 91 and 86. So that is the Nielsen. As I said, lads, there is a lot of better wingers out there than the Nielsen. Um, if you wanted to, you know, like have a viable kind of player. Now we could, look, we could take one off that and have one more into dexterity or one more into dribbling if we wanted to do that and it would bring him into a 95 dribbling category which is one of the best in the game for a 91 acceleration 86 speed 86 balance and 95 dribbling that is one of the best trio of combinations that you could get i always say if you're looking for a winger right and you want to do skills and tricks and take people on and make bits of people you need to have the holy trinity of dribbling, acceleration, and balance in the 90s. He just misses out on that, but his dribbling is extremely high. So that is the Nielsen, lads. We'll be back quite soon. We have a few more left to go. We're Vervaldo and Ronaldinho up next. Let me know who you spun. Let me know if you're playing with them in your squad. And let me know how they're doing for you. Until next time, peace.